So a record-setting high, and we just heard about a big change in weather conditions on the way. Right. Many people saw the forecast earlier this week. They knew to take advantage of the really warm day. 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien did, too. She is live from downtown Youngstown. I'm here in downtown Youngstown where the weather is still fabulous. It's still very temperate out, even though the sun's beginning to set a little bit. Earlier today, I went to Mill Creek Park and Boardman Park to see if people were going to take advantage of this amazing day we had, and they absolutely did. I went to Mill Creek Park and the parking lot was completely full on 224. People were hanging out with their dogs, running, jogging, walking with friends, and it was a similar scene over at Boardman Park. I actually was at the playground where there were kids everywhere running, jumping, climbing, having a ton of fun. I talked to people at both locations and what I found was there was a real sense of urgency among people to make the best of this day. You know, we normally run on treadmills indoors, but when the weather's beautiful, we take advantage of that. Just practically being outside and even tonight I have a fire pit in my backyard and I have a little fire, one of the last ones of the year, in outside. Now, as Paul said, we're going from sunny and warm to cold pretty quickly. And I wanted to know how it was possible for the temperatures excuse me, to change so drastically over such a short period of time. So I talked to Storm Team meteorologist Matt Jones, and I'll have that news for you at 6. But for now, live in Youngstown, I'm Cameron O'Brien. This is First News at 5.